Hey everyone, I'm Swolcat and I am a printer god. All kidding aside, I made a printer extension for Sammy, previously known as Leorn Board 2 Community Edition, and I want to walk you through it. Initially, I used DJTO software for Leorn Board 1. However, I was watching Nutty Stream one day and I saw that he had printed something with an image. I was pretty stunned. But he said that DJTO was working on a streamer bot extension and it gave no indication as to when it would be released. I was really only using DJTO stuff to communicate with the printer, so I figured, you know, why not build it myself? Soul Printer is the result of that. Let's dive into the prerequisites for what you need to get everything set up. First thing you'll need is a printer that can print PDFs. If your thermal printer is text only, this is not gonna work for you. Next, you'll need Sammy slash the Alarm Board 2 Community Edition. Then you'll need Node.js. Just get the latest if you don't have it. Final piece is swoleprinter.lb2. You can get this from my Kofi. To install, it's pretty easy. Just install the LB2 file like you would any other extension. If you did it right, you'll see a new wow. deck. Once we have the deck, you'll need to configure the templates to fit your printer. All of the templates are just HTML files with text that we replace. The templates are located inside the Swole Printer folder, which is inside your Leorn board folder. By default, there are two templates, one for the raw command and the other for testing. Let's open up the template.html file. In the head, you'll see where I'm setting the HTML and the body to be exactly 270 pixels. This is what works for my printer, but it probably won't work for yours. I recommend configuring the test button with your printer name, clicking on that button, and then adjusting the template until you get a proper fit. Make sure that once you get the proper fit, you update the raw template with the same style so it prints properly. With the template configured, let's talk about how you actually send messages to the printer. There are two commands, swole print and swole print raw. Swole print always uses a template file of your own creation. The advantage to this is that you can use CSS, HTML, and even JavaScript in your design. However, keep in mind the browser that it's using is really old, so code like it's 2008. Swole print raw lets you just send raw HTML to the printer. This can be helpful if you want to do something like send a Leorn board buffer or something else for whatever reason. I don't really know. Swole printer is very unimpeded opinionated so there's not like a print when you get a sub button already set up so let's make one of those the first thing we'll do is we'll make the button put a name on it and set the trigger i want to have a unique template so let's go make that html file we'll put the username here we'll also type out a message we can also pass in the user profile picture so i'll make an image tag and we'll uh, replace the source. We'll do a bit of styling, and now we're done with the template. Keep in mind that templates have to be in the Swole printer folder. This template, I'll call it sub.html. Now that we have a template, we can start writing commands for the button. First, I'll pull the username from the trigger. Then I'll get the user info so we can get the profile picture. We'll wait for that variable to exist. Pull out the profile picture from that variable. Now we'll actually use Swole print. In the replacement map, I need to have the username and the profile picture. This should match the text from the template. The printer name is the name for my printer. And finally, the template name will be sub. I'll delete the user info at the end, so it'll always request it. Let's give this a go by firing off a sub from the transmitter. Perfect. I wanna talk a little bit about troubleshooting. First, make sure that Windows can print a test page. If Windows can't print on your printer, neither can I. Second, make sure you have Node installed. Next, the template should not have the .html. Finally, you can look inside of the Swole Printer folder for the PDF to see how it gets rendered before uh, you pull it in. With that all out of the way, I wanna tell you about some of the things that I've been doing recently with my printer. I found an API for getting a random anime girl, so I let my chat adopt waifus. I also found a similar API for cats and now my desk is littered with cat wanted posters. Finally, I have one that will do random lotto numbers. Each one of these is a template with its own layout. And as I said, this approach is really open. So, there, you know, there's no limit to what you can do. It's just your imagination. At this point, I don't think there's any more features I'm really interested in adding. I haven't found any bugs, so I think I'm pretty much done. If you guys have any ideas or find any bugs, feel free to leave a comment here or contact me on Discord. I hope you guys all have fun with this extension, and I'll see you around.